Hello again sports fans, this is the latest test of my ProTrack antenna and the plan today is to head out south along the river corridor again but uh, climb up a bit slower to about 500 metres to try and conserve a bit of battery and to keep to the eastern side of the valley, that's the left hand side and also to disengage the uh, antenna servo once the uh, signal starts to falter. As usual I'm flying the Texumo today uh, and I've fitted it with a new Pagoda antenna to replace the circular wireless one I've had so I'll be interested to see how that goes. It's a beautiful sunny day, it's a little bit chilly, there's about a 5 to 8 kilometre hour wind blowing out of the north so I'll have it behind me on the way out but I'll be heading back into it on the way back so I need to keep my eye on the battery. I'm not planning on going too far, it's really just the test of the new antenna. I think I might go out to 5 kilometres or so. But I'm not mucking around, the plane's gone straight up in the air and I'm heading, setting a course straight for the, uh, the valley to the south, past Mount Tennant. This is the on-screen display that I'm uh, looking at. As you can see it's got all the essential information I need. Speed on the left, altitude on the right, distance from home on the bottom. In the middle of the screen there's a kind of pseudo radar display which gives you a uh, rough idea of uh, where the plane is in relation to home and what direction it is and the direction that the plane is actually flying in. So it's quite a handy quick reference. So we're just coming up on uh, two kilometres, it's a lovely clear day, the video is pretty good. You can see for miles and miles and uh, I'm pretty happy with it until the signal starts to break and the antenna starts to rotate. So I'm only two kilometres out and I'm a bit uh, worried that this Bagata antenna I've got is uh, letting me down. I decide to wait until the antenna does a complete rotation and don't hit the uh, reset button yet. And sure enough the signal does come back. But I lose it again once I turn to bring the plane back on course. So once again I decide to wait until the rotation finishes to see uh, if I have a signal again. And uh, it does come back. So I... Uh, just continue on. So we're just coming up to three kilometres here and getting a little bit of uh, video break up. Uh, but then the signal weakens and the antenna starts rotating again. And I'm starting to wonder what the heck's going on here because it's normally very reliable out this far. Regains the signal after one rotation, but then loses it straight away and starts rotating once more. I decide I'll put it in return to home while I uh, press the reset on the uh, play track and uh, try and adjust the uh, antenna manually. It takes me a little while to recapture the picture. I uh, try the side-to-side uh, -side movement, doesn't work, and I do need to actually raise the elevation of the antenna. So it looks like I was flying up above the beam. Uh, and once I've uh, captured the picture, it, it seems to be pretty solid. So I take it out of return to home and bring it back on course. I've still left the pro track in uh, manual mode, so it's not automatically tracking anymore. So we're back at the three kilometre mark and the video is uh, got a few glitches but uh, I'm able to um, manoeuvre the plane to find the sweet spot in the beam and then adjust the antenna manually slightly to uh, bring it back to where I want it to be.
So just passing four kilometres and everything's good. Video is good, the plane's flying well, the battery's good. What more could a man want? So we're passing the five kilometre mark now, which was all I'd really intended to do today, but uh, everything's good, the video's good, and the battery's still got uh, plenty of volts left in it, so I think I will carry on. So I'm past the six kilometre mark now and, and the plane seems to be uh, having a few control issues. I've, I'm putting it down to an increase in the wind but now that I'm looking at the video I, I can see that uh, I'm uh, gaining altitude and the throttle's probably a bit low so it might be a little bit of a stall. Anyway, the uh, video is still good and the battery's still got some volts left in it so I decide I'll keep on going for a little while. So I'm just passing the 7 kilometre mark and the video is still good. One thing I didn't notice was that the RSSI is dropping uh, at the moment. Uh, the battery is still okay, but it's getting a bit marginal. Uh, it's still a bit bumpy, which I'm still attributing to the wind. And I still seem to be climbing, which isn't part of the plan. It just must be unconsciously pulling back on the elevator. But everything seems to be going well at the moment. So we're just passing the 8 kilometre mark and though I didn't notice it at the time the RSSI is dropping to the extent that the fail safe's actually kicking in. You can hear the motor rev and uh, see the plane drop a wing turning for home but it regains the signal before it goes into full fail safe. So the picture also starts to degenerate at this point and uh, rather than uh, messing around with the antenna and trying to stretch it out a bit further I suffer a rare attack of good sense and decide to turn the plane for home. So the plan is not to use return to home as I normally do, I'm actually going to fly the plane down the eastern side of the river valley because the direct line home brings me too close to the, the mountain so I intend to try and stay on the right hand side of the river. So here we are at 7.5k, I'm starting to get some break up but I managed to find the beam and uh, carry on. So we're just uh, under six kilometres to go. And once again, I'm still getting a bit of break up, but I'm able to uh, manoeuvre the plane to find the beam and uh, without too much trouble. I notice 
from the video that the RSSI is coming back up to full strength so uh, so that might be the signal for me to actually start switching my easy UHF transmitter into uh, high power mode rather than the low mode which I've been using up till now So just under three kilometers to go. The picture's good. I'm not expecting any more problems. I put the Pro Track back into auto mode. The batteries are looking pretty healthy, so uh, everything's looking good. So I start descending to uh, a more appropriate landing altitude. I don't have any more problems with the video so it definitely looks like it was the uh, antenna elevation that was causing me problems on the way out. I still can't get over how much battery I've got left at this stage of the game. Amazing. I must have done something right. So a perfect landing right in front of the flight box after an 8.4 kilometre flight. It can't get much better than that, surely. So the new Pagoda antenna seems to be a success. The loss of signal for the first couple of kilometres uh, I think was due to the fact that I didn't have enough elevation on the array. And I'm pretty happy that the more easterly course home is the way to go. I'll also need to keep a closer eye on the uh, RSSI. The, uh, I tend to fly the Easy UHF in low power mode, but it uh, looks like once I'm out past six kilometres, I'm uh, dicing with death. So, note to self.